Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive for now anyway. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so if your discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our time fondly. Why hello my baby! Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> because guess what showed up on my birthday? I'm actually filming this the day after. So hi, first of all, thank you so much for all the like lovely birthday wishes. I love you all. I had the best day ever. I know I'm turning 38. I decided to act like a 10 year old and go hunting for McDonald's boo buckets. I only found three. This is my public PSA. Anybody, anybody finds that green bucket, this one right here, you let me know. I will pay handsomely for it. <laughs> yes, there is something wrong in my brain. <laughs> that I need the whole set, but I need the whole set, okay? I went to like seven McDonald's. <laughs> it was a moment. Anyway, enough about that. In today's video, I'm so excited because we get to talk about, oh my God, ah! We get to talk about Jason. We get to talk about the Friday the 13th, which by the way, I am actually really excited about this collection because it's Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. The best Friday the 13th in the franchise. And if you disagree, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. Show yourself to the door, okay? Now, I was very excited for Ghostface until I saw that this was gonna be Jason Libs and I was like, oh my God. I lost my ever loving mind. So in today's video, I'm gonna do it in a similar format that I did in my Nomad Cosmetics video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the corner where I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bubble and just talk a little bit about the products and all that stuff because I kind of like this format. Actually, let me know down below if you prefer this format or if you prefer me to kind of try on and talk about stuff. I'm curious. Hmm. Now, before I jump into it, I want to say thank you so much to Glamlight for sending this my way. Thank you so much. I'm also affiliated with the brand. If you're ever interested in wanting to pick anything up, use the code whew, garbage and you can save money off your order. Now, even though this was sent to me in PR and I am an affiliate, I'm still going to read it to filth if I don't like it. Why? Because I love constructive criticism. Don't you? <laughs> as long as it's constructive. <laughs> If you're just being a bitch to be a bitch, you can go fuck yourself. But if you have valid points, I'm all ears. And I hope brands are the same way. Anyway, so this whole collection retails for $140 and I will be honest, I don't have everything. The things that I didn't receive in my collection but I am gonna receive next week are kind of the things that I was like kind of really excited about. One is the makeup bag pictured here. Ugh, I just wanna fucking touch it. <laughs> And of course this candle, which I believe the candle you can only get if you buy the collection. Now, if you do want the whole collection, it retails for $140 and you get the following. You get the eyeshadow palette, the brush set, the highlighter, the makeup bag, the candle, the lip kit, and the false lashes. So what I'm not gonna talk about in today's video is the false lashes. These babies retail for $10. I have never put a false lash on in my life. I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I am gonna keep these because I like the box <laughs> and I think it's cute. And you know, you never know, listen, I turn 38 maybe things are different now maybe i am gonna put false lashes on maybe i'm gonna decide to pierce my asshole i don't know but i might as well hold on to them <laughs> so we're gonna hold on to these and we're not gonna talk about them but they're 10 bucks i feel like that's reasonable i don't know is it okay whatever <laughs> who cares let's talk about the things that i did get to try the first one being this fucking mirror okay this mirror is everything i actually like it better than the ghost face mirror mm -hmm. i said it and i love that ghost face mirror that's a good mirror i like it because it's bare like this one is really cute but like she's a thin moment this is a beefy bitch i like a beefy bitch <laughs> So this mirror retails for $24. It's beautiful. I love the artwork on it. It looks really good. The mirror is really nice quality. And this is going to be probably the thing that I grabbed the most. It's lately, it's been the Casper one. Get the fuck out of here, Casper. Jason all the way. I am excited to see if there is going to be a Nightmare on Elm Street mirror. And if so, I hope it's the glove. <gasps> Ugh, bitch, okay. <laughs> I really hope it's the glove. So for $24, I think this is worth every penny considering makeup mirrors are kind of, I don't know, like meh, not that cool. This is actually done really, really well. And the fact that the mirror is big enough to get my whole fucking face in it is amazing. So we love that. So this, totally worth it. Totally worth every single penny. So let's move on to the next product. This is a highlighter. This retails for $14. Run, don't walk. Run, don't walk. This is fucking great. I really love Glam Light's highlighter formula and this is just everything that I want it to be. It's a beautiful duochrome highlighter that has like a white to blue flip. But if you are scared that it might be too icy, don't. Because it really has like a very, very light base, as you start to kind of buff it into the skin, it just really comes off blue. And it's just so fucking pretty. This feels very celestial, very alien slut, and the glow is unreal. If you're worried that there's gonna be sparkles, bitch, don't be. While I have seen like one or two sparkles within the formula, compared to other duochrome highlighters, 
highlighters, which can be chock full of glitter, this is definitely much more smoother. You don't have to put a lot on. One swipe is everything that you need, but you know me, I'm extra as fuck, and I enjoy that. <laughs> I don't have a bad thing to say about the highlighters, except please never stop making this formula. If you stop making this formula, I will lose my shit. <laughs> I will lose my shit, you have no idea. It's just so good, it's so good. Dare I say it kind of looks oddly, it doesn't look natural, but it kind of does in my world. I am a fan of colorful highlighters and it's just, this is so pretty, it's so beautiful. And I feel like it's so perfect for Jason because of the blue and the water and it just makes sense and I love it. I also really love the packaging on this guy as well. It's a nice sturdy cardboard. Yeah, she's a little bit beefy, but it's not too bad. It's still very, very easy to store. You get a nice mirror and of course this beautiful lenticular cover, which is fucking everything. But yeah, the formula though, it's so fucking good. So far the highlighters that have been coming out for all of the horror collections, I think actually just this one and the ghost face one, fucking phenomenal. So good. So fucking good. So yeah, highly, highly recommend checking this out because it's just, it's so good. Especially if you're looking for a duochrome highlighter, it doesn't have a lot of glitter to it. This is perfect. The next thing I want to talk about is the lip kit. So the lip kit retails for $15 and in it you get one liner and one lipstick. Now I'm not a huge fan of Glam Lights lip kits. I usually find either the formula is like not for me or the colors are not for me. This is probably the most wearable lip kit <laughs> that I have ever tried from the brand. This is probably the best version of it. The only thing is that I wish it was a little bit more like nude. I feel like this kind of runs a little bit more peachy on me, making it more of like a potential like spring summer kind of combination. So the lip liner is definitely like a darker cherry color while the lipstick is definitely more of like a peachy nude. I will say that I definitely think the lip liner has gotten better. I remember when they used to have pencils, it used to irk the shit out of me, it hurt my lips, felt like it was tugging the hell out of them. These are definitely more creamy. Do I feel like the lip liner added anything to this? I don't think so. I feel like the lipstick just kind of overtook everything. But then again, I'm also not a lip liner baby. So maybe it's just lip liners lost on me. Overall formula wise though, this was very comfortable. Quality wise, I definitely enjoyed this one. So that's good. Now the lipstick, the lipstick I like, but again, I feel like it runs a little bit more kind of peach on me. Not necessarily really kind of uh, giving you anything <laughs> with these eye looks that I created today. But this is a lipstick color that I would totally wear had I just not done this to my face. <laughs> this feels like a very good everyday color, but albeit more springy, summer kind of a vibe. When applying the lipstick to the lips, it felt very smooth, very velvety, very comfortable. I'm not experiencing any weird dry texture. Everything just feels really good. Again, I think this is my favorite lip kit that they have come out with. Formula wise and definitely color wise. Even with the last collection, you know, a lot of people, which y'all are very sweet, a lot of people were like, no, it looks really good. And I want to believe you. <laughs> But in my brain, okay, I just couldn't see it. I was just like, ah, I hate it. This I like. This I feel more comfortable with. This is definitely my bread and butter. So I love this. This is good. And I really hope they continue with this formula because it's really nice. Now, packaging wise, I think these are really adorable. I like how the lip liner looks. I love that it's covered in blood. That's adorable. And the lipstick. I like that. Again, it looks like blood dripping down the bullet. So cute. Couldn't ask for nicer details. So I really enjoy that. Now let's move on to the eye brushes. So the brush set retails for $18. These little baby these are synthetic and I, I I didn't really care for them. Here's a couple of things though. One, I am not a huge fan of synthetic brushes. I think synthetic brushes work when it's a shimmer, like the littlest brush in this whole collection. This was a great shimmer brush for me, especially because I have hooded eyes. I don't have a lot of real estate. This was perfect. I could see myself using this one as well as this giant fluffy brush, which I tried to initially use it as kind of like an all over kind of going into the crease and the lid and it just felt too much, almost to the point where it definitely brought my eyeshadow closer to my eyebrow, which is not my favorite thing for me, but it's not the end of the world. So because of that, I decided to switch brushes and use something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with. But I found myself kind of going back to this brush a lot because what I like about it is, is that one, the, the bristles feel nice, but it does have that little bit of a dome top. So it really worked very, very well when blending out the edges and going underneath the eye. This was perfect. So these are the two brushes that I would potentially use. These two, I don't think so. And they're too big for me and I don't know what to fucking do with them. So while I do love the packaging, I love how the brush handle looks. I wish it had a little bit more weight to it because it just kind of feels a little cheap, but bristles wise, they feel fine. But again, I'm not a fan of synthetic brushes. So I wasn't really expecting my much. But the fact that I'm going to be using these more, that actually makes it a win for me. Usually synthetic brush sets, I fucking wind up usually decluttering them or giving them to a friend or whatever because I like natural hair brushes, but these are two that I would actually fuck with. The other two, not so much. But again, if you are somebody who has hooded eyes, I don't think you're gonna love this. But if you are someone that has a shitload of real estate, you're gonna love it. <laughs> 
I'm also very happy that they decided to do something different. So not every horror collection looks exactly the same. Each one kind of has something different to it. And I like that there was an introduction of brushes. That was really cute. I just hope that if they do continue with brushes, maybe to kind of throw in another, I don't know, smaller brush for us hooded eye folks. It's very, very hard to find a brush that just fits perfectly. It really is. So that would be my only criticism. I wish it at least half the brushes were kind of designed for hooded eyes. So with that said, let's move on to the main event. The eyeshadow palette retails for $34. First and foremost, I love the presentation of this. You couldn't have asked for a nicer presentation. I will never throw out this box. I love that it looks like a VHS. It's the little things like this that just make me really, really excited that Glamlight is stepping up their pussies and making really cool fucking packaging. Like this is awesome. As someone who was born in the 80s, this is just fucking, oh God, it makes me so happy to see a VHS case. It really does. I kind of hope that the Freddy one is also like that. Actually would have been really, really cute if all of the cases kind of came like this because that would have been really cute to have a collection. Since all of them are together, I would have been really cute to kind of store, but whatever, maybe next time. Anyway, let's talk about this palette. So in today's video, I did two different eye looks and I kind of primarily focused on these two rows because they were just, they spoke to me. Those are the ones that I just wanted to put all over my face. I cannot wait to use the reds and the blues, but I just really wanted to use these two rows right here. I just thought they were so fucking pretty. I think overall what I love about this color story is that yes, it feels very, very true to Jason, but it's also in a very elegant way. It's like elegant grunge. You get very beautiful smoky eye looks with this guy. And I love that the shimmers pack a lot of punch. There's very little glitter bukkake, which is just, ah, makes it that much better. Now, some of these are also duochromes as well. And you get this really beautiful silver too. Like there are really a lot of nice shades in here. So let's break it down by formula. Now, when it comes to the mattes, I feel like they are consistent with the ghost face palette. While they were very, very pigmented, as you start to blend it out, they do get a little bit softer. So as I was building up the color more in my crease area and softly blending them out, it created this really beautiful smoky eye moment. I think my only complaint about the mattes is that I wish there were a set of lighter mattes, especially when kind of blending out the edges. I found myself trying to figure out what to use. So I would have to go into like my pressed powder to just blend out the edges to make them a little bit softer and not so harsh. Because these colors are darker and I'm an uncooked chicken, I don't want to look like somebody punched me in the fucking eye. <laughs> so I really wish that there were lighter mattes in this palette because I feel like with the lighter mattes, it also would have kind of maybe created a little bit more dimension. That was the only thing that I felt like was missing. It was like, I want like a lighter green or I want like a lighter purple. I feel like that would be really, really pretty. But then again, would it be true to the character, to the palette? Not so much, right? So while I wanted that, I don't think it would have worked overall with the color story. I didn't have any fallout. And if I did, it was very, very easy to clean. I love that some of these darker mattes can be used as a liner shade. I felt like that really worked well for me. I sincerely cannot wait to create more looks with the mattes, but I really just love how these two looks came out. One side is purple, the other side is green. I kind of feel like they go together in a weird way and I love it. And I have Zoom meetings today and I don't give a shit. I want to see how many people notice that I have two different eye looks on. I'm curious. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to the shimmer shades. I really like them. Now, granted, I only really use like three. I just kind of use these two as well as this one. And they're really nice. When I applied them, I used a little bit of NYX glitter glue and everything stayed into place. I didn't experience any sort of like rogue glitter bukkake where I felt like I needed to constantly like keep cleaning my face. So thankfully, it's one of those palettes where if you do have your base down, you don't need to feel worried that you're going to have glitter bukkake all over your face. Everything's going to look really, really nice. I really like how pretty these shimmers are. I like the fact that I didn't need to go back to build them up. Everything looks really, really nice. And most importantly, when used with glitter glue, I didn't experience any sort of weird texture, no spicy butthole, no bullshit. Sometimes what happens when you use glitter glue is that sometimes the shimmer shade can kind of solidify and you could kind of flake it off, which is really fucking weird and gross. I didn't experience that at all with this palette. And for that, I say thank you. Of course, I want to continue to use more, especially this nightmare shade. This nightmare shade looks like everything as well as Camp Crystal Lake. So fucking pretty. I love this. This is so nice. I really wish I had a third eye because I would just be putting these blues all over my fucking face right now. They're so cute. Anyway, I don't have a bad thing to say about this palette. Other than, yeah, I kind of wish that there was a lighter shade, but in reality, do I really wish that? I feel like it maybe would have thrown off the whole Jason vibe because Jason is a grungy motherfucker and this is a grungy palette. Now, I don't know necessarily if this is like a everyday daytime palette. I feel like this is more of a perfect smoky eye palette, like a nighttime palette, if you will. But then again, who am I to say that you can't wear a smoky eye in the office? Who the fuck am I? <laughs> I used to wear smoky eye in the office. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> Nobody would have makeup on. I'd be the only bitch in the boardroom with the fucking smoky eye. I didn't give a shit. I commanded attention and boy, did I get it. Uh <laughs> 
anyway, I really like this palette. I can't wait to continue to play with it. I feel like you can get a lot of looks with this palette, but most importantly, I kind of love that it's very, very simple. Like I could kind of just stay across the line and get like a really nice solid look that takes literally no time at all to create. Of course, you can definitely mix and match within the palette for sure, but I like that it's kind of really simple and it just follows to like perfect color combinations. I think this is so cute. And dare I say out of all three palettes, this is probably my favorite color story so far. We haven't seen the Freddy palette yet. So that might be the winner, but so far I actually think this is my favorite one. And not just because I love Jason Lib so much, which I mean I fucking do. Color story wise, this one probably makes the most sense. So yeah, completely obsessed with this palette. And I think that's it. That's all I have for you today. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you're interested in picking up any of these items or if you're going to be skipping out. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, thank you so much to Glamlight for sending this my way. I appreciate it. Please don't fuck it up with Nightmare on Elm Street. Please don't fuck it up. Mama would be very, very unhappy about that. And of course, when the other two pieces are sent to me in my collection, I'll leave a pinned comment or like update my community tab to let you know how good the makeup bag is as well as the candle. And of course, if you're ever interested in wanting to check out Glamlight, Use the code whew, garbage and you can save money off your order. Now with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting though. Garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do it without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. I'll see you little cranberries later. Bye.